Tell you about a very fantastic device it's great for training uh, surgeons uh, in proteologists and in transcatheter as well as uh, surgical procedures this is the uh, life tech bio uh, simulator it's a dynamic bio simulator and it's a very high tech a very uh, high fidelity uh, device as you can see here the, probably the most high fidelity device that we've seen as far as training people are in airlines and of course people don't fly airlines unless they've spent many many hours uh, in these uh, trainers. We're going to show you the highest fidelity level of cardiac simulation. It's the LifeTech uh, Dynamic Cardiac Biosimulator. And the thing that's so positive about this, when you're developing new technology, clearly rather than going to animal studies, which are a little more expensive than clinical studies, if we start with biosimulation, uh, bio it's the quickest, it's the most accurate, and the most cost effective way to get started with prototypes and also to train uh, uh, physicians. So the LifeTech uh, biosimulator features are non-contracting real hearts. They're not human hearts, but they are animal hearts. It has external pulsatile pump support, fully controllable hemodynamic settings. And this is what's so important because you can adjust preload, afterload, and you can continuously monitor all pre uh, hemodynamic settings such as cardiac output, left atrial pressure, uh, and uh, systemic blood pressure. And as you can see from these images, you see fantastic visualization, either from the ventricle or from the atrium. The benefits of this device are, and the conclusions are as follows. A lifelike environment to assess devices, procedures, and train physicians. Preserve morphology and anatomy with realistic tactile feedback. Adaptable for different pathologies and different procedures. Different species, porcine, ovine, bovine, human, cadaver, and deer hearts. Compatible imaging with direct videoscopic echo, fluoroscopy, or MRI. Real-time hemodynamic feedback during and after the procedure. And uh, an optional integrated femoral arterial modules for TAVI and mitral clip. It's very cost-effective in testing both prototypes and clinical devices. And is especially good for training not only uh, young surgeons and residents, but also uh, people who are beginning to develop new technology and moving into transcatheter uh, devices. Thank you.
Well, I've had a good experience with the LifeTac Cardiac Biosimulator. I've had experience with this for over a year in working with a company called Neocord in putting new cords inside the heart from the apex of the heart. But the important thing about this biosimulator, it can be used in any type of scenario, whether it is transfemoral, transatrial, transventricular. And it perfectly simulates the hemodynamics of the heart. For example, if you have a leaking mitral valve, and now you repair that valve either with a clip or a new cord, then you can look at the hemodynamics. You repair the valve, the blood pressure goes up, the left atrial pressure goes down, the cardiac output comes up, just as you would see in a patient. Now, in a patient who's on cardiopulmonary bypass, you wouldn't see that, but when they come off the pump, you would see all these parameters changing. But with the biosimulator, you can see these dynamically. You can see them exactly as you repair or make a change in the valve. This device uh, it emulates directly the human heart. You can use it for looking at the aortic valve, for different transfemoral techniques, uh, whether it's TAVI or a mitral clip. It's, it most closely simulates the human heart of any simulator that I've ever seen. And it's superb for training surgeons, not just young surgeons, but surgeons who are becoming interested in the new technologies. In fact, I think it's essential. In the United States, our residents now have to have a large portion of their training in simulation. And this would be a perfect device for training young surgeons. But now we're training mostly older surgeons who are interested in developing new technology. And it's the perfect device to emulate the human heart and the human condition like none other.